Western Reports, a presentation of Western Kentucky University Television and the Office of Public Relations. Today's story, Home Ec, A New Look. And now here are Helen Crocker and Tom Dunn. Hi, and welcome to our program. By way of introduction, Tom and I would like to explain that today's show is for the whole family. And not about an area that's just for girls anymore, either. Something that we guys can talk about, too. Well, that's true, Tom. And with Dr. William Floyd as department head, it's obvious that home ec is not just for girls anymore. But having males in a once uh, all-female dominated department doesn't mean that that's the only different thing in our department at home ec. Well, it sure doesn't. In the next few minutes, we're going to show you what we call the new Department of Home Economics and Family Living at Western. Let's watch. Learning about fabrics is still an important part of several home ec classes. Western's lab is filled with gadgets that can measure the quality and durability of material. And there's even a testing machine, Helen, that tells you whether or not your new polyesters will pull easily. Wow, you've really gotten into this subject. Maybe Dr. Floyd's dream to have some men in these areas will come true sooner than we think. Well, let's hope so. Incidentally, Mrs. Martha Jenkins, coordinator for Textiles Clothing and Interior Design, says everybody in these areas is required to take the first course in textiles, and this is what they learn. Westerns always train teachers in home ec education, but now they become teaching specialists in the subjects we've just been talking about. And they can also take subjects like textiles and interior design into the business world and professions, too. As a new authority on the subject, I can explain that these gals really aren't artists in the elementary school sense. What they're doing is called batiking, a method of executing color designs on fabrics by coating with wax the parts not to be dyed. Block printing happens much the same way. You just take a square etched with a design, glop it in a special ink, and voila, a piece of woven art. Here's an area one doesn't always associate with the masculine touch, but this is another way that home ec at Western has really changed. The big people are learning from the little people in a laboratory session of Dr. Del Hayden's class in Growth and Guidance of Children. Dr. Hayden's specialty is family relations. In this playroom, his students try to apply what they've learned about parent-child interaction. Now this is what I call an ideal way to treat an academic subject, Helen. The students say it doesn't seem like work, and yet they're actually studying child development in a playroom atmosphere. Dr. Hayden says there are four special areas of development the students learn in here. The first is the child's cognitive or perceptual change from week to week. Next, there's his social development to observe. How he gets along with his little friends and the adults present too. Then lastly, psychological and physical growth, which we know happens rapidly at this age. You know, there's lots of practical experience to be gained here in this obviously fun-filled laboratory. By the way, these preschoolers are volunteered once a week by their mothers who come along to watch from a nearby observation room. Well, I guess these mothers agree with Dr. Hayden's students that these little packages of energy are often good teachers themselves. And now let's take a look at the grown-ups in the family. Dr. Roy Hedges is a family specialist at Western. He emphasizes child development and marriage and family counseling. His job is to prepare students to work in child welfare, marital, or premarital counseling. Let's observe an initial marriage counseling session with Dr. Hedges. He's dealing with a typical family problem today. Who gets up first? Who? dresses first and, and just kind of replay it in your mind. Uh, that as seems it might. to have little to do with our problem, Dr. Hedges. How, did, how could that possibly relate to the fact that my wife is, is, is literally making a sissy out of our oldest boy? As a final note, Helen, Dr. Hedges tells me that in marriage counseling today, the client is the relationship and not the individuals themselves. That's an interesting thought, isn't it? 
Well, yes, Tom, and spoken as a true sociologist, it's pretty obvious that cooking and sewing just do not tell the whole home ec story anymore. Well, as a matter of fact, I didn't see any cooking at all in the film, but uh, I'm sure in home ec and family living they do some cooking. Is what you're trying to tell me that for the male student at least, maybe cooking is the most important part of our home ec department? Well, I think it is, and uh, I really don't want to be kidded too much about this uh, apron that I brought with me today. <laughs> oh, Tom, I have no doubt you're a great cook. Well, thank you. Uh, I am a great cook, as a matter of fact, and uh, most of the world's great cooks have been men. But do we have to eat it? <laughs> well, that's been our show for today. We hope you've enjoyed it. Well, I know I've enjoyed it, and... Uh, if you'll excuse me now, I think I have some grocery shopping to do. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye, Tom. Western Reports has been brought to you by Western Kentucky University Television and the Office of Public Relations. This is Greg Goatley speaking.